Next, we're going to be discussing Edit UV and Reflow UV. This feature allows you to edit the UV curves of your surfaces. Let's go ahead and jump in. So let's take a look at this surface I have highlighted on the model here. And if we go up to our Surface tab, we have Edit UV and Reflow UV under the Flow Line group. Let's go ahead and shut the model off. That way we can isolate this and we'll put it in wireframe. And you can see the UV pattern that's going to be created on this surface. Let's go ahead and select Edit UV. And we're just going to drag a window over the surface we have here. We'll say End Selection. And if I zoom in, we can see the difference in the U and the V surfaces. And we can flip them around. We can toggle them back and forth, both U and V. But under the Edit UV Manager, we also have Switch UV. We could switch U. We can switch V. And then we have another option for Propagate. Propagate is going to take the surface that we select, and it's going to switch all our U and Vs to try to be in line with one another, as you can see here. And there's a little bit of mismatch. This is where reflow is going to come in. We can edit how that miss, how the how the match connects there. Anyway, so let's go ahead and play with that a little bit. We'll see what kind of options we have here. We do have a rotation angle. I can select the surface. We can actually rotate that angle however many degrees we want. As you can see there, now we have the negative 22 degrees. But we also have other options where we could use curves. So. I'll select the boundary curves and we'll go ahead and go to our levels. We'll turn on our curves. And I'm going to turn on a single line entity. We'll go ahead and toggle through this. And you could select up to four curves or four chains all together. In this case, we will be selecting four on this, but four is not necessary. It works very well on this one though. Now look what happens to the curve of the UV. And also look what happens whenever I take that same curve. And with the left curve, I select an arc curve instead of the one that's actually right on the edge there. Select our surface. And you notice the UV follows the curve that we have. Now, if I go into my reflow UV manager and I say OK, now you notice that it trims the curve along as well. I'm going to go ahead and take this back. And we're going to use the two long edge curve extensions right here. Select the surface, and I'll select both those edges. We'll say OK. And you notice that it extends the UV curves out past the end. Nice flat surface and nice ruled surface there for the UV pattern. And there we have it. So you can also extend your surfaces as well, and not just use this to touch up your UV curves. Let's save this.